So how messy is your closet? If it's anything like mine, you might be in need of some organizing. Here to help us with some Closet 101 is celebrity stylist Pilar Steinborn. Pilar, always great to have you here. Thank you for having me. So you probably don't need all the junk that's in your closet, right? Clothes no. from years ago. It's time to purge, as <laughs> always, top of the new year, but also as well just to clear your mind, just to have a great execution of mm -hmm. each season to come. Okay. So we believe in, yes, seasonless clothing, but at the same time, you do have to put some seasonal pieces in. Okay. Okay. Hence, I have this scarf today. Yeah, a furry which, scarf. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and the furry I would not normally wear in the spring or summer, but here I am. You know, that's an accessory. That's mm -hmm. an add-on. But I brought some basics to show both Good. for the female and the male person. And what I want to say is that it can be very simple. It can be several things, mm -hmm. up to a dozen. And basically here we have on the female mannequin, yes, our friend here, um, <laughs> starting with the base layer, we have a great shirt that's a button down that can be dressed up or more casual, a jean jacket, a trench coat, there is a sweater under there for layering, your denim jeans, a great bra. The bra, um, just do a simple, clean, what I call the t-shirt bra, so you don't have to compete or fight against any kind of details or lace showing through. Want to see the lines, Want right? to keep the foundation pieces very simple. Mm -hmm. All of this is intermixed, so the skirt can be paired back with the shoe, with the um, booty, or you can wear a heel. The other thing every woman needs is the little black dress. Yes. So with this one, Teresa, mm -hmm. you can add on a scarf just to dress it up a little bit, or you can go a little bit more conservative. Oh, it's fabulous, though. You it's, can even wear it with leggings if you wanted to, absolutely. right? Absolutely. You can wear it with the booties. You can wear it with the heels. So for every woman, think about what your events are. You want to make sure that you guys are hitting the mark with, I have something to go to a cocktail party, mm -hmm. I have something to go to a funeral, I have something to go to a date night, I have something to go out with my girlfriends. And as well with the trench coat for both men and women, mm -hmm. as you can see here, um, they can be lined. So you can buy one for the whole year and then take the liner out ah, during a great the, the warmer spring. months. Yeah. Exactly. But it is something that you can dress up over a little black dress or you can put it over a denim. Layering is the effect here. You must layer. Mm -hmm. And with that, if you can get these 7 to 12 pieces, that make up, these are your foundation pieces. These are just bases. And then you can have some fun sprinkling in some other items just mm -hmm. to kind of zhuzh it up for your own personality. That's kind of where the accessories come in. Exactly. Versus shoes, that type of thing, right? And so what I wanted to give you was my three tips of tools to shop by. Okay. And with that said, we have, when you go into a store, the first thing to know is, uh, okay, colors. What colors am I going to look at? Start with your eye and your hair color. I think that's, oh, a, that's great, a great rule of thumb. Yeah, sure. It's a base for many people who are not quite clear yet. Okay, well, what's going to work with me? The other thing, not only your hair and your color, mm -hmm. keep this tool in your back pocket, teal. <laughs> teal is a universal color for all skin types and really? hair color. Oh, that's fantastic you can't go wrong, to know. Male and female. And second, when going into the store, it's mm -hmm. going to really help clear cut through the aisles and you're going to be able to get in and out much quicker and yeah. make it less stressful for some of us who are just not adhere to like look I just don't like to shop but I don't even know what to look for again I'm going to go to first hair color um, and your eyes okay just to help you kind of pinpoint which color to know if you are not a sleeveless person you can weed through all of that if you're not a v-neck person push it out of the way. Mm -hmm. At least then you have the focus, the items that do work. Sure. And when you look at them, and I'll point out here for the male version, he has a great detail here. If you're wondering, well, what color should I go to get with it? You get your basic. It's kind of fun to look on the detail of the lining. Ah, then match it with one of these colors, exactly. right? Exactly. The companies really know what they're doing. They designed <laughs> this specifically for a reason. They added all these details, whether it be the stitching, or the buttons. So those are my key tips for tools to shop by. So for the three items, again, for your color, to know exactly what will work for your body, and three, look at the details that the company has already instituted into the garment. That will help you It'll get match. through the store, put your items together, and there you will have a solid foundation. I love it. Now let me ask you this, Pilar, is there a, a rule where you should throw an item out? If you haven't worn it in a certain amount of time or if it's just out of style, you shouldn't hold on to it for yes. how long? Uh, the time thing is on the back burner. Uh -huh. I think really what it is is does it give you joy? 
So just <laughs> if you ask still yourself, love it, it's okay to hold on to it. <laughs> if you love it, and if you're just trying to figure out how to wear it, that's a good thought. I okay. think it's kind of great to go onto the internet and maybe look at someone who's a point of interest to you, uh, a muse, if you will, inspirational. See if they've used that garment and how they styled it. That would help you maybe kind of apply it to your personality. That makes sense. And or you can just go and see how the designer styled it on their website. Mm -hmm. So that will help as well. Plenty of resources. And Pilar, are you going to be doing some personal shopping? Yes, I'm available for one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, we're doing closet cleanses throughout the spring, so now's a great time to kind of jump in and get a little head start. Great. And where can we find you? You can find me on my website, uh, PilarSteinborn.com. Thank you for all the advice. You're welcome. All right. Rye, we'll send things over to you in the kitchen. Maybe you have a little teal on somewhere? Uh, well, not today, not I guess. Today. But, but I do have match. some... <laughs>